welcome to Wind on the Week. Today I'd like to chat about what has been going on in the world in terms of ESG. Just over a month ago, ESG GPS was launched in Nigeria. It is indeed exciting times for Risk Insights and I hope that you will be a part of this journey. In recent months, we've seen the rise of commercial space tourism, with Sir Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos both successfully completing their journeys into suborbital space. While this has highlighted massive advancements in the field of science, technology and space exploration, we must also be mindful of the negative impacts that this has on our environment as a result of increased carbon emissions and the release of soot into our stratosphere. Locally, the unrest that has erupted in parts of South Africa has emphasized the social challenges that our country continues to face. Riots, looting and violence, fueled by economic disparity and unemployment, has had a dramatic impact on social cohesion and economic welfare through job losses, property damages, and supply chain disruptions. In terms of governance, we are currently experiencing a rise in stakeholder activism, and the pandemic has catalyzed this change. We've seen stakeholder expectations put added pressure on corporates to focus on ESG issues, and as a result, some corporates have introduced new fossil fuel policies with the intent of improving on their climate strategy. Some have adjusted their remuneration policies and many have integrated green bonds into their strategies. In spite of the challenges it faces, ESG has gained significant momentum and it is here to stay. Its relevance in decision making continues to grow and it is more important than ever before for corporates to be able to adjust and pivot to these changes. My name is Konal Kalyan and thank you for joining us for this episode of Window in the Week. We look forward to seeing you next week. Stay safe.